Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Contacting a victim who had attempted to flee. As part of this investigation, in March of this year, special agents from HSI executed search warrants at Combs' residences in Miami and Los Angeles. They also executed a warrant for Combs' electronic devices. During those searches, agents seized evidence of the crimes charged in this indictment. They seized firearms and ammunition, including three defaced AR-15s and the large capacity drum magazine. They also seized evidence of the freak-offs, electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak-offs with multiple victims. And they seized cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak-offs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. Wow, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Uh, man, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, man. Um, as you heard yesterday, early when the news broke, I, Diddy is in a lot of trouble, man. They, they, they calling this whole operation a freak-off. As, as uh, this DA, uh, this prosecutor, Damian Williams, is really, really got, you know, he's giving you the information that he feel is, uh, you know, uh, things that they've targeted in on him, man. And, and Diddy has a lot of questions to answer. I don't think Diddy is, is on this by himself. I'm going to bring in OG. I got to bring in OG early on this. OG, man, what do you think? When you when you when you hear what they're what they're alleging, man, all that all man, thousands of bottles of oil for freak offs. Man, look at here that uh, you know they they build it up, they buff it in the ass some occasions, you know, and uh, he he didn't been put in in them positions. He put himself in them positions, and they got him like they got him right in the trap. Now he got to, he got to really be wired. I'm talking about a freak off. Do you hear the name of it? Don't even sound right. Man, Puffy been having, you know, he been having a king. He been having parties the same way in the 90s they was having them parties. At, in California, they was having pool parties. And uh, the same way that, 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 that they, they end up killing Eazy -E and framing Magic Johnson. Uh, Puffy went on it in another way, and you know them, them East Coast dudes do it different. You know what I'm saying? Wow. He's the one that do Superhead to uh to uh what's the boy name? Uh, Herb Gotti. Herb Gotti and uh, and to do Superhead to to Bobby Brown. Like you know they was they was transporting and and you know, mixing females up like it was the thing to do. I mean a freak off though. They caught they naming this the freak off. And that's what they, I, I don't know if they, and this is a play on words. Is this what they were calling these things? They may know that Diddy and them had a secret code for a freak off. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's what they call it, it back in the day. You know, you, you had angel dust parties and you had freak parties. You go to a freak party, it's just like a swinger party. White people have been doing it for ages, since the cave time. They call it a swinger party. Wow, yeah, you're right. A, a swing up party, a freak out. Blacks call it freak out parties, I like, guess. Yeah. And it, I mean, it, 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 it's. Everybody do it. No, I'm not everybody, I, allegedly. So, you know. so there, this, this, this is the part what threw me off, and I want to, I want to play this part. This is the second portion that I was listening to. Uh, what do you think about this? Hold on. It says. As you can see here, this is a drum magazine, large capacity, and it contains, I believe, 59 rounds. I mentioned as well, we recovered three AR-15s. This is a close-up shot of one of the AR-15s, and you can see right here, the serial number has been thoroughly defaced. Another picture of more ammunition and parts of two AR-15s right there. Now, I want to be clear about two things. First, this office is determined to investigate and prosecute anyone who engages in sex trafficking, no matter how powerful or wealthy or famous you may be. Wow. Wow. So, so you see what I'm saying? Now they're bringing the, the AR-15, three AR-15. What is they, the guns? Is, why are they? So, so, uh, because uh, now you're trying to kill Trump, huh? 
I don't know what they trying to, I mean, if you, there's nothing wrong with having, it's a right to bear arms if you in, they, they was in, what city was they in that he found these? In Miami, right? I guess so, yeah. I mean, you know, this is just adding fuel to the fire. Now, he just claimed that no matter how big and famous he is, how come they ain't arrested some of these damn clear senators and these politicians that's having the same thing, like I say, the wording is different. They don't call them freak off, but they having swinger a uh, 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 swinger party as we speak. I'm talking about oil and lubricant. They done went over and added up all the stuff to demand buying, and then they're saying that the the guys having freak offs and and they're and they're talking about the weapons, the serial numbers, and all kind. Man, what is they got going here, man? Is this a charge? And why are they building? Why are they why are they bringing the? Uh, if you're gonna bring it up and talk about it, is this a charge that's coming against him? They calling this a racketeering charge. Ain't nothing wrong with having ten years of oil. So you want to break, uh, massage your body? What? It's not against the law. AR-15s. He probably he's a celebrity. How many white people got AR-15s? Wow. So with the, with the with, I mean, it, 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 I don't understand the part about the uh, the weapons. If now if you got a body or something on them, it's different. But it seems like they're just wanting us to see that he had these. Like you could do this to any typical in anybody in Texas. Uh, so you can bring them up on gun charges like that. You got to understand one thing. They never said he had them in his possession. They said they recovered them. That's right. They never, to your imagination, you acting like they was on Puffy in his arm. Right. They said they recovered them. So they could have recovered them out of Miami in the garage. All the people he got working for him, how you know they was his? Right. And and, and here, here's another thing, man. What, how, and I got to bring this up. How safe is, is P. Diddy with all the information that he has and understands on what people have done around him? How safe is he being incarcerated? Could there be anything that he have to be worried about being, you know, incarcerated and well, they not letting him out? Yeah, he better put some money together and, and, and get with some of them D.C. boy. He better get him a good posse because they're going to try to kill him up in there. But see, one thing that like you said earlier, they'll set up and say about a black. He ain't going to hang himself. You can't say suicide with Negroes because we'll do a lot. But we ain't gonna kill. A white boy, Epstein, all of that, they can fake a suicide. But with blacks. They got to set it up that he was gambling and a, a Cuban killed him. They'll set him up to die. So he got to get him a, a cool little old army around him. Wow. wow. And I agree with that uh, totally, OG, because for him to be locked up and, and, and for him to have the information he have on the people that they did have, the, what they call them, freak out, freak, what they call them? Uh, uh, freak out. You know, for him to have these these parties and know these people that know the stuff he know a lot of stuff on a lot of people i think and a lot of powerful people i think i think he got to be very careful being incarcerated because anything could happen with him because of the other people that might be in trouble he, he was cool with donald too he was cool with Donald. He was cool with a bunch of them, man. Like I said, don't not, not just not just musicians either. I'm talking about a lot of political people. Yeah, a lot of ministers, all kind of people. It's, it's some judges been up in there and got some oil on their body. Wow, wow. Well, man, hey, man, thank you for uh, uh, sharing. We're gonna we're gonna stay on top of this one, so I'm pretty sure we'll talk about it again as this stuff he unfolds. He ain't coming on. Uh, he, yeah, they tried it. That what? What? That fifty million ain't gonna be enough. And man, look, he he's sitting in the same cell with Pee Wee Longfellow right now. <laughs> well, take it, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, man. And I, I just want you guys to get in the comments. Let us know, man. Is Diddy safe being incarcerated and having the information that he have on the people who they had these freak up, freak freak out parties, freak up parties with? Is this is this something that he need to be concerned about for his safety measures? incarcerated let us know what you let, think let me let me say let me say this e okay just like just like a bishop bullwinkle said 
hell to the no to the no 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 <laughs> i don't think hey listen let us know if you think he's safe uh, uh you heard what og said he don't think he's safe uh uh do you feel like he's safe with the information he has and do you agree with og that they could not make as if this was a suicide let us know in the comments man um Boss Talk 101 Reviews, man, where the boss is taught. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.